back to the Marcy Homes. That was the uh, housing development in New York where he grew up. He's mentioned many, many times. But this year, he's launching a different kind of initiative towards helping out the groups of folks that are there. It's called Bitcoin Academy for the residents of Marcy Homes. Uh, and the response is a little bit back and forth. Here's uh, some uh, details of this, uh, this initiative he's working on. This program aims to provide uh, education, empower the community with knowledge, and get rid of some of the barriers so that residents can learn more about Bitcoin specifically and finance in general. He collaborated with Twitter founder Jack Dorsey on this project as well. And it's a 12 week uh, Bitcoin Academy course which will be taught by Lamar Wilson. He runs the website Black Bitcoin Billionaire and Anaja J. Roberts, founder and CEO of Brick and Mortar Crypto School in California. And that's called Crypto Blockchain Plug. Bitcoins everywhere. Uh, there's at least one good perk of Bitcoin Academy though. There's some free phones. Those participating in the program will, will receive uh, MiFi devices and a one year limited data plan, plus smartphones if needed. Residents may keep the devices, very nice. And nonetheless, many of these people that are living in these homes aren't really very happy about this or thinking this is the best approach. Uh, it's kind of late to be doing that when people are trying to hold on to their dollars and everything is so expensive. People don't wanna be investing money knowing that they might have a chance of losing it. So one resident did also say, uh, in addition, every time I, I, I get got to, uh, to, uh, to go to rent phone, TV and internet, I don't have money like that to be losing. If I did, I would try to invest in something that's more reliable, like the basketball game last night. <laughs> Who doesn't love Myra? <laughs> you know I'm gonna win something from that. Also, if you wanna do something, fix this place up. We have a basketball court with no hoops. Our parks uh, is broken up in here. We should be doing more for this community, not no Bitcoin Academy. So it's not a surprise that they're not very happy about this uh, as bit, uh, with the Bitcoin push uh, when they're struggling to survive in this expensive city of New York. The average household income for public housing residents in New York is, 20, is over $24,000 according to the New York Housing Authority. Hmm. And there's one person that is excited about this and they said, I would like to learn how they became a millionaire and learn what to trade and what not to trade. So there's a bit of folks that are looking forward to this. Uh, is this worthwhile? Is this something that's gonna help out? First, before we do anything else, well, we're just gonna let it go. We're not gonna let it go. Did you hear JR's Freudian slip, Bitcoin? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said I it early. I don't know what you're talking uh, about. <laughs> well, look, I got 99 problems, but Bitcoin ain't one. <laughs> <laughs> It's definitely dope that Jay-Z goes back and helps the community uh, where he grew up at. Hey, Marcy Projects is like every project in America. There's a lot of people who may be underemployed or unemployed, uh, have tough economic background. So it's definitely plus shout out to Ho for going back. Now, my initial thoughts on this is great idea. It may be a few steps advanced. Now, I grew up in a relatively decent neighborhood, but people have financial hardships. And I think that Bitcoin investing is like fourth or fifth on the list of things to do. So I think the first thing would be, hey, let's give them some general financial education on budgeting, on how to make additional income, on how to reduce your spending, uh, sticking with the budget, how to eliminate credit card debt, how to build your credit. Those are the fundamental foundations. That's number one. Step number two is taking advantage of your basic retirement accounts, your 401ks, your IRAs, your Roth IRAs. Step number three is investing uh, in the stock market through brokerage accounts uh, that are non-retirement accounts where you're investing in your own ETF, index funds, single stocks. Then step number four, I would probably put, you know, the cryptocurrency, real estate, virtual real estate, all of the extra stuff. So this is a dope idea, but it may be like if if Jay-Z taught those other classes before this one and this was like the fourth class that they could take, then it will be dope because they actually built all that foundational knowledge. But right now, hey, times is hard. A lot of people in that neighborhood probably not making a lot of money. Uh, so, I mean, like, who gonna have money to invest in Bitcoin when gas is probably six, seven dollars in New York? When eggs probably cost nine dollars in New York? Ain't nobody trying to invest in Bitcoin. People wanna just have knowledge to be able to help their situation right now. So I think foundational literacy with regard to finances is probably the way to go. If you like this video, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, share. I'll holler at y'all later, peace.